Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. Probably feeling a little bit shocked that I currently have this much makeup on whilst starting a video. Um, it's, to make it even worse, it's 9.06, 97 now, on a Sunday morning, and I've been up for an hour and a half sorting this out. I mean, it probably doesn't even look that good. I've honestly been half asleep whilst doing this. However, I actually have a little dance performance today. I have obviously officially left my old dance school, but I guess I've kind of like officially unofficially left because my dance teacher messaged me like a month or so ago and was like, we've got to do some performances at like high street light switch ons and like, please come back and dance. So couldn't say no, and I can't say no to a little bit of dancing. So I am obviously, well, I did one of them on Friday and then today's obviously Sunday. So we have another one today and I'm also doing a performance next weekend for them, but you know, unofficially officially left. <laughs> However, today is such an, ex well, it's actually not, I'm actually really sad. Today's an exciting day, but I'm really upset about it. So obviously we have the performance, it's at 12.50. So we need to leave in like, 50 minutes to leave, so I'm just gonna go downstairs, grab some breakfast, get ready, and off we go. I'm literally doing one dance, I'm doing one point dance, and I'm so happy about that. However, I'm also still in my car today, and I'm actually really upset about it. Like, I kind of, when I decided that I wanted to sell my car, I've been saying it so many times in all other vlogs, but today's active the day, and like, when I decided to sell it, I was like, oh yeah, this is gonna be fun, I'm gonna have money, and like, I don't need a car, but now it's like, actually, like, the day I'm like, oh. <laughs> I actually really like my car. So yeah, that is the plan. We're going at 4.30 this afternoon to hopefully sell it. I mean, I'm selling it through rebuy any car, so I can kind of get there and they'll be like, oh, Bern, you want to offer you this? And I might be like, maybe not, maybe I'll just keep it. However, currently the price that they offered me online for my car is like too good to say no, really. And I think there's a really high demand for secondhand cars that aren't like too old. My car, I got it in 2020 brand new. So it's a couple of years old. So I think the demand for those kinds of cars is really high right now. Hence why it's worth so much money. Cause I honestly thought that I'd be in like negative equity, but I'm in positive. Cause it, obviously I finance it as well. <laughs> just so you guys didn't gather that already. But um, yeah, just really sad to be saying bye to it. But anyway, I'm gonna go have some breakfast. I'm gonna put on my red lipstick before we leave. So it's just already done. And I don't have to stress about doing it when I'm surrounded by people. Also, any dancers out there, you need this lipstick. I mean, it's a little bit of a tricky one because they actually don't sell this anymore. So this is the Kat Von D. I know it's now KVD, liquid lipstick in Outlaw. I swear by this lipstick. I mean, I've had it for way too long. I definitely should have thrown it away by now, but I've had it for a good few years. And it's just the best red. It's not too bright, not too deep, matte. So it like sticks in your lips and you don't smear it everywhere and it goes onto costumes. Generally the best lipstick ever, however they don't do it anymore. I am gonna be ordering a new one from the KVD brand of their liquid lipstick. They don't have this exact shade anymore, but they had like a color match thing. So I'm gonna get the one that is similar to this, but I honestly just love it so much. I'm really sad they don't do this exact one anymore, but top tip, KVD liquid lipstick. Apparently just put it on my shoes. I've already got my ballet tights on underneath I've just rolled them up so I don't actually have to wear them over my feet whilst we are going there and I've got a red lipstick on now I've just got on a pair of leggings and obviously this three quarter length zip why can I not put on my shoes and then it's raining so I would like to wear a coat with a hood but my long black coat with a hood actually has a hole in it because my grandma's dog ripped it a little bit so it's probably not the smartest idea to wear that coat so i'm gonna put on my aviator and this is really nice and warm with i have this scarf from primark i've got so many compliments on it on friday but i wore that on friday to like switch on so i'm gonna go with this cream one and then at least when we're walking there i can go like this and have a little a little hood so i think that's my plan of action although this is probably going to get loads of makeup on it but what can you do it's more important to be nice and warm currently in the car with mom she's just driving she's waiting she's mile, just oh. at the roundabout take oh, the first sorry. exit onto brighton road there we go and i mean to be it's not really raining anymore I was going to show you guys the weather, but it's actually not that bad. But this is what we're contending with today. I mean, it's very it's lightly spitting. It was when I was just back there. But um, yeah, we're dancing outside. So I hope that this stage won't be wet because stage and 
wet and point shoes probably isn't going to go down very well. So we are all done. It is what actually is the time? Uh, 1352. No, it's not, it's 1349. Oh, is it? Actually, cool? it's 10 to 2. My car must and be fast. Yeah, your car's always in. 50 minutes wrong. to get home. Yeah, so this will be home by 20 to 3, which is perfect. A little bit of time to chill. And then my car appointment is at 4.30. So Aiden's <laughs> actually um, taking my car out to get it cleaned whilst we've been gone. I feel like you guys are also definitely gonna film. Just trying to find some makeup wipes to take off the red lips which is a little bit much you know and i'm also pretty sure i bought a banana in here yes i did so i'm gonna eat a banana because i'm feeling kind of peckish although it's probably a little bit bruised at this point but everything went well was dancing on a wet stage but it actually wasn't that bad i really can't zip this up i was holding you guys so i'm gonna go and eat my banana and take this off so we've just gotten home my mum's literally gone straight back out to go out to tesco to go and do some food shopping but I had a parcel come when we were gone aiden's also upstairs on his xbox and these are actually for aiden for christmas and he knows what they are he knows what he's well it depends if these firstly fit and secondly if they look nice but these are a pair of trainers that i got aiden for christmas so i thought we can do a little unboxing Oh, do you know what? They're actually really nice. So I got him these Air Max trainers. They were from JD. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, they were a little bit pricey, but if Aiden likes them, then obviously he'll wear them loads and it will be worth it. So I'm actually gonna get Aiden to try them on. They're actually really nice. Let me know what you guys think. It's not really focusing. Let me try and get you in a different light. Take it to some more natural. Oh, there you go. That's so much better. So I bought him these for Christmas. I'm hoping that he likes them because if he doesn't like them, then I'm kind of like back down to the drawing board of Christmas presents. I don't know about anyone else, but I just find it so hard to buy for my boyfriend now. Like when we first got together, I was like, oh my God, so many ideas. And now I'm just like, I've been together for like three years now. I'm like running out of things to get him. And I feel like I always get him trainers. I just really hope they fix. They are a half size too small, but they should be okay. But anyway, it is just about to turn three o'clock and we haven't had any lunch today and I don't really know what to have. I had my banana and I feel actually quite full but I know that Aiden is going to be hungry. Oh, Aiden's cleaning out my car. These are my sauce, <laughs> my sauce things. And then we've got some mini sprays. My mum's mouse that she left in there the other day. So sad. Aiden's currently trying on the shoes. I just gave him my socks, so you'll have to excuse the uh, the black socks with the white shoes. The only thing is, is the laces aren't long enough for him to tie up, so we're gonna have to do the whole tucking in trick. Can you pull down your ankle spinners? Thank you. What do you think? I think they're really nice, actually. What do you think? I like them. And they're Gore-Tex as well, that's really cool stuff. I don't know what that is, but... Neither. <laughs> Sounds cool. <laughs> we'll just put it away for Christmas. Guys, I'm just coming out to my car for one of the final times. Well, we're not actually leaving yet. Oh wait, I need to undo it. Oh, hi, this is me. I just want to get in here to make sure that everything is taken out. Oh, look at the little smiley sun air freshener it's one of the last times in the car i'm actually really upset about it obviously i'm getting rid of it so i can have some you know extra money in the savings but i'm just really upset because i just feel like it's I, I literally love this car like genuinely so i'm just looking around to see if i've got anything left in here um i have got a few things that i need to get out but i i eat like i literally considered doing the balloon payment on this car like that's how much i loved it i just don't drive it enough to warrant spending all of the money i do on it to be honest i don't think i'll ever spend this much money on a car again because 
as lovely as this car is and has been, I mean, it really did us well when we were living back in Essex and I was doing so much driving. Like, I'm so happy that I had this car for that, but I don't really drive that much anymore. This is really handy, by the way. It's a car tissue holder. I've got no tissues in it right now, but I put it on the passenger mirror. So handy to keep tissues in, but I think... This is basically everything. I just want to, I want to get everything out now instead of having to like get it when we go. Um, there's receipts in there. Let's go check the boot and the back seats. And then we're going to go back. I mean, we need to leave in like half an hour. It is literally two minutes down the road. So we got half an hour left. But I feel so sad. I don't know why. Well, I do know why. Because I'm getting rid of my car that I actually really, really love. But... I need to get a grip. Just checking the back. There's nothing here. To us, the back seats didn't really ever get used because it was only ever me and Aiden in the car. Oh my gosh, I need to take this out. My I'm a cabin sponsor thing. Definitely take that out. Oh my god, I haven't got enough hands. I'm literally holding too much. Right, let's open this. Oh, we've got a receipt. Um, that's something I've really put in my car a lot is receipts. Right, let's take this off. I'm not going to have a car to put this in. How on earth can I get it off? Here she is, back seat. I'm a cat cabin sponsor. And there we go, she is empty. Guys, we just got here and this is it. The fi oh, here's Aiden. Hi. The final goodbye to the car. Hopefully, hopefully they give me a good price. If not, it'll be coming home. It's been done. The car has been sold. It went down by quite a lot, didn't it? Yeah. It lost out on 1.6K. When you put it that way, it doesn't sound so nice, but still got a decent amount. Here it is. Wait, it's not there yet. Oh, what song is that? What song is it? Just a sad song. No, don't, because I get copyrighted. Here it goes. Bye, Carl. I'm so sad. But, um, yeah, car is going. Well, car is gone. I guess we could always come up here, like, tomorrow and come and visit it. Yeah, it might be gone by then. I reckon no. I'll have it off. Dude, I mean, to be fair, it is a really good car, isn't it? Oh, so sad, so sad. So the money lands in your account then. I know, he said it'll be in by Thursday. So by Thursday, Thursday, Thursday Christmas shopping will be happening. I mean, it was pretty straightforward. If anyone's like wanting to like sell their car through We Buy Any Car. I mean, I think, so I had, he said like all four alloys were scratched. I mean, I don't think they were that bad because I don't remember the last time I scratched my alloys. I think but the thing is with an alloy is if it's scratched, it just needs to fall work. Yeah, I get anyway. that. Um, but yeah, like, they, they definitely charge you up for getting yeah, so things fixed well, to it. Considering that big, the big dent in my bonnet, mm. John reckons I'll get charged 180 quid for that. Yeah. There wasn't. But yeah, like you could, theoretically, you could go what? get your car fixed and then go and do it and yeah, yeah, yeah. get a couple hundred well, the, extra pounds. The ease is um, they just do it quick. Well, exactly. Like, like, and you don't have to wait. So yeah. you, you'd get more money for an auto trader. But then you have to wait to find a buyer. Yeah. And then you might have a buyer saying, no, I'm alright. Yeah, well, I literally just like, I just wanted it like done, dust it. Like, yeah. I don't want to stress about things. I'm so happy paying like. What they say in We Buy Any Cars Advertisement is true. Like, if, you don't, if you're not fussed about the extra, come up with quick. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, I just like the easiest, easiest option. I'd rather honestly pay a little bit extra just for the ease and the no stress. Um, but yeah, we're now home and. One car down. One car down. Aiden's gonna go park in my normal space. So for dinner tonight, we have a curry. Last, we've honestly, well, to be fair, it's actually a microwave curry, but on Friday night, I had McDonald's for dinner. Last night, Chinese takeaway. And then tonight, we've got a Indian, but it's actually just from Tesco, and it's this one. Cinnamon, kind of fancy. We had everything over here, the three of us, me, my mum, and Aiden, me. all sharing. So made a little bit of a mess, but I had it all here, bit of a, Bit of a buffet and this is what it looks like so we have lemon turmeric rice prawn curry chicken korma black dal, and then bombay potatoes it is currently i actually don't two past time. 11. is it two past 11. we were meant to go to bed before 11 even though aiden gets annoyed at me every time i thought they say that we're going to bed before 11 but we always wake up in the morning tired so that's why but we're currently watching the um Oh, you are twitching and moving Sunday. my arm. The Sidemen Sunday video from today. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I was literally in the shower earlier and I was like, oh, I have no soup for tomorrow for lunch. Oh, it's fine. I'll just go out to M&S. And I was like, 
Can't no, wait. <laughs> There's not an M and S within walk. Well, obviously I could walk to an M and S, but I think I'd probably come for about two hours. So that's obviously not going to happen. So walk to Tesco. Yeah, I know, but I don't like the Tesco soups. Picky. <sighs> M and S, two for five Have to pounds. Get an Uber. <laughs> seems like a very expensive suit but anyway i'm gonna go so i hope you all do enjoy it if you did be sure to leave it a massive thumbs up comment down below what you thought and obviously if you guys aren't already then make sure to subscribe and i should see you soon with a new one bye